in this chapter we're going to talk about the closed economy in the short run so the aggregate demand is given by y equals to c plus i plus g y is your total output c i and g are your consumption investment and government there are no net exports right now um supposedly Supposedly, I mean, you have AD here and Y here. So, total output and AD. So, this 45 degree line, like this, this is a 45 degree line. Let me just paint it like this. Uh, well, this line shows at all of the points on this line, AD is equal to Y, at all points. Okay, at all points on this line, AD is equal to Y. You can pick up any point, say for example, this point. At this point, AD is this much and output is this much. Okay, so it's all same. So all the points on this line will give you AD equals to Y. And uh, supposedly, if AD is exogenously given as this much, let's say AD star at this point equilibrium is given by point E and output is Y star right output is Y star so this much is AD and this much is Y right this is all Y this is all AD so all the points and at this point AD is equal to Y for all the points which are below y star at this point all of these points your ad is greater than y ad is greater than y and uh, in case if ad is greater than y then uh, then inventory investment okay or unplanned inventory investment uh, it will fall right if See, for example, if demand is more than the output which is, which is produced, then you must have kept something in your stocks. Okay, you'll have to run down those stocks so that you can meet the demand. So that is what is being said. So in these cases, your inventory investment will fall. You understood what inventory investment is? That is, you must have kept certain stocks, right? So those stocks uh, have to be run down in case if demand is more than the output so for example at in these points uh, output is more than the aggregate demand so your inventory investment will go up that is you will you will increase the amount of the stocks with you so iu is greater than zero then you have the consumption function consumption function well generally your consumption function is written as c equals to c bar plus c into y c bar is your autonomous consumption autonomous consumption and small c is mpc so autonomous consumption is the consumption which is not dependent upon income And MPC is how much your consumption will change when income will change. So, for example, you are earlier with income of 100 rupees, you are consuming 80 rupees. Now, supposedly, if your income goes to 150 rupees, how much is the change in consumption? That's what is being asked here. So, this is your DC by DY. How your consumption is changing when income is changing. Okay. Generally speaking, small c. Generally, I mean, small c is always lying between 0 to 1. It is just the ratio. Either you will 